point P, Q, R, S are on the sides of A, B, B, C, C, D, D, A of a square A, B, C, D respectively so that A, P, P, B, these ratios are equal and that is equal to 1 over N. So I believe that such a question can comfortably be answered if we made several assumptions. So what I am doing is I am drawing a square and let me assume that the side of the square is 4 units while the value of N is 3. That means I am dividing all the sides into the ratio of 1 over 3. Let's quickly do the markings. So we have A, B, C, D. Now, let's quickly plot the other points. So A, P over P, B, that means P should be somewhere at this place so that the distance this is 1 and the remaining distance is 3. So this point is P is equal to B, Q, Q, C. The same thing has to be done at this place. This is Q and this distance is 1. The remaining distance is 3 because the side of the square is 4 and uh, BQQC, CRRD, so let's take point R somewhere at this place, the distance of R from C is 1, the distance of R from B is 3, and the fourth point is S. So we have taken these four points and we have followed all the instructions only with the assumption that the side of the square is 4 while the sides are dividing into the ratio of 1 by 4. Now. Let's quickly join these four points together and we understand because these points are dividing all the sides into one particular ratio. Therefore, this particular quadrilateral PQRS will also be a square. However, let us see whether it is needed or not. What is the ratio of areas of PQRS to the area of ABCD? Now, the area of PQRS can also be calculated by simply subtracting these four corner triangles from the area of the square. Area of the square ABCD is 4 the square minus 4 triangles and each triangle has area half of 1 times 3. So that becomes 16 minus 6 that is 6. So area of PQR this is 6 while the area of ABCD is equal to 4 the square that is 16. So the required ratio of areas ratio of areas will be equal to 10 over 16 that will be equal to 5 over 8. So now the correct option on substituting the value of n is equal to 3 should give us the answer 5 over 8. Let's go to the first option that is 1 over 1 plus 3 that is 1 by 4 not 5 over 8 so out this option is 1 over 3 not 5 over 8 out this option is 3 over 1 no out. So the next C and D options let's quickly do the calculation. 1 plus n square that means 1 plus 3 square 3 square is 9 so we have 10 in the numerator and 1 plus n whole is square that means 1 plus 3 is 4 4 the square is 16 that's exactly what we have here so c option is our correct answer and that's how we answer the question let's look at option d as well 1 plus n is equal to 4 while 1 plus n square is 10 which is 2 over 5 so that's not is equal to 5 over 8 therefore the option also is out. I hope the learning here was enjoyable thank you so much.